All right, let me just show you how to solve this problem having to do with time zone that you may encounter in your application in Spring Boot that tries to assess data. So if I run this application right now, you'll see that it will give us an error that says the time zone is not recognized. And I'm going to show you how to solve it. So let's go up and see the stack trace. So you can see the Java SQL exception, the, tava, the server time zone, blah, 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 IDO is not recognized or represents more than one time zone. And it says you can configure either the server JDBC and so on and so forth, the more specific time zone. So now the problem is coming from uh, this place. So we have this database in a particular time zone and the application in a different time zone. So what we are going to do is to just uh, uh, you can we can just update the application the properties file using you can see these items that we can append to the database. So have, having done it, it will be something like this. So you can find this in the description box box of this video. So you can see at this point, you, after the name of the database question mark, then you add every other thing separated by the ampersand symbol. So I'm going to copy this and paste it, and then we can see that that problem goes away completely. So let me just replace this with this. So again, uh, this is this is it. So you can take some time to understand. Use Unicode, get APC compliant. Use legacy the time zone calls, server time zone UTC. You can also use any time zone depending on where you are. So let me use the right, the correct database. So. All right, so now I'm going to rerun this application now, and let's see that this uh, this problem go away and uh, goes away, and the server will actually start running. All right, so you can uh, let's uh, what is happening again? Okay, so I think I think I have an error here because uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so let's see. So this time it says unknown database, unknown database host track. So they, I think the 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 host track. All right. So let me rerun it. I think it's a an error in the name of the database because the database actually have to exist. So at this point, uh, let's see. So you can see that Tomcat will actually start in port eighty eighty as you can see at this point. So the problem has been solved completely. So this is how to solve the time zone is not recognized issue. If you have more challenges, leave it in the comment box for me. Like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. I'm Kainz on the Tech Pro and I'm always there to give you any support you need in building application.